So when you came this road, this street, what did you find there? What did you find from there? Metal. Metal. So I want to ask you, why do they separate like metal is there and other garbage is here? Why do they separate? <laughs> so here we they throw only people throw only small size of garbage not to become poor soon rapidly. <laughs> How do you think, <laughs> can we recycle this tire and use oil in this island? Okay, let's read. Could you describe your work? Very <laughs> caracal. <laughs> uh, you can see what we do, right? Yes. Every day. You've been out here for only less than 30 minutes, you already start complaining. <laughs> we do this every day. Not only this, but uh, me personally, I work in the office, and these guys out here, they're the ones doing the hard work. It's not good, but we try to, which is leading up to the question after this one or the third one, to protect Ponte environment. So what we do here is uh, where we manage the dump site, all the waste that come out here, we manage it and we work under EPA regulation. Question two, okay, can you read? What is the most challenging thing to manage dumping site? <coughs> if I start listing down the challenges there, it's gonna be a very long list. Ah. <laughs> but uh, we'll just talk about the simple ones. Uh, People that comes out here, they don't. Some of them, they don't uh, try to understand that we do segregation, meaning we separate trash. Like you see the uh, scrap metals, they don't mix with the tires. They don't mix with other trash. So people comes out here, they just uh, they're just in hurry to go back home and uh, watch movie or do Facebook. So they just come throw it anywhere they want to throw and step on the gas and run away <laughs> and uh, there's more but I don't know if I'm supposed to say funding land landfill they cost millions of dollars but us we just work with uh, whatever state gives us it's not much but uh, at least there's something to start uh, protecting our environment with. manage the waste so, there. Okay, thank you. So, let's go on. Number three. Okay, can you read this? 
Important thing. I'd say maybe not think, maybe it's us human. As people, Pompey State. People, not only Pompey State, but all the four states. We're not things, we're human. We just need to start cleaning up. I don't know how else to say it, but. We need to have a common call in uh, environmental, uh, what do you call it, uh, hygienic. Because if we, we can, we can have all the machines, but even the machines, they operate by people. So important thing, as human, we're going to clean up our state. Very good question. Yes, I do have. Uh, since you've all seen it at first hand, what we do here, all we try to do is uh, clean up the island for you, the future generation. Uh, hopefully you can continue cleaning the island. So start uh, playing your part, even if you're a kid, you see something not good, pick it up, put it the proper way. You see somebody throw something somewhere, classmate, or throw something somewhere it's not supposed, tell them to put it in the trash can. It's This is your island. In the future, when we're all gone, it's going to be yours. So start cleaning it now. Okay. Yes. Okay, if you found... Someone like throw it, littering garbage into the river, into the road, into the ocean. You have to be like brave person. You should not do this. <laughs> you can say, you can advocate. <laughs> you should stop this one. Yes. <laughs> Even if you're just a kid, because trust me, you all have voices. <laughs> <laughs> and kids uh, message their more important than not talk, like me talking to you right now <laughs> <laughs> we come up with all these big words but once the uh, kids uh, talk we all feel it <laughs> and even your parents i'm not trying to tell you not to listen to your parents they they are your parents listen to them but they're also human human make mistake they throw the trash you scold them oh. <laughs> <laughs> 